evening. Welcome to Heaven Sent Boyfriend. Sida here. Hey, how y'all doing, Miss Chancellor? How y'all? How are y'all this evening? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. We're here talking about fragrances again, and we have some lovely summer fragrances to talk about. We have Aqua Allegoria by Guerlain, and we're gonna go ahead and get into these today. All right, stay tuned. I can't wait. We have Lis Solea first, which basically translates to um, basically Lily Sun or Sun Lily. Beautiful bottle, signature to Guerlain. We have like the kind of honeycomb uh, around here in gold, and we have like a bee on the bee cap for these Aqua Allegorias. Beautiful design of this fragrance, and you're gonna see the design is consistent with most of these bottles, actually, all the bottles we have here today, pretty much. Now, um, Liz Solea, um, is, we're going to read the notes here and then we're going to kind of talk about what you get from this fragrance. Absolutely. Here you go, Chancellor. Read that out for us. Okay, so the top notes we have for this fragrance is going to be uh, palm leaf, a little bit of bergamot, uh, amalfi, and uh, amalfi lemon, uh, rather. And then for the middle notes, we're going to have some lily, some ylang ylang, and some top tropical fruit. And for the base notes, we're going to have some vanilla, uh, some tuberose, and some musk. Oh, thank you, Chancy. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, let's see. We'll kind of, I'll let Chancy sit that out while I kind of talk about it. So, for me, this fragrance is a beachy scent. Now, beachy in the sense of something rich and sweet. Um, you kind of think about um, Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford, something like that of the sort. Um, now, Lily is pretty much like in the bait in the mid notes for this one here. Um, you have some tuberose, um, you have like some green notes, but for the most part you get a very rich, I smell mostly ylang ylang, which is kind of like a banana um, rich floral scent uh, with the tuberose. So for me, it's kind of a rich, decadent scent for summertime. Um, not as like a fleeting as a citrus scent or fruity or anything of that sort. I get very rich, silky florals, so kind of like a What's the word? Uh, not, not silky. I want to use the word other than rich. Almost what waxy. Like a waxy kind of like those uh, when you fill a flower petal and it feels a little bit waxy, like it's very rich and it has like a very deep perfume to it. That's what I kind of get from this fragrance. Like, Chance, what do you think? Uh, for me, I got a little bit of the uh, more so the, the lily. And then I'm smelling a hint of the vanilla and the uh, the tropical fruit. Not so much the tropical fruit though. Uh, mainly it's, it's Lily for me. Um, when she first sprayed it, I got more so the tropical fruit, uh, but now it's more of the Lily and the uh, vanilla. Yeah, I get a lot of vanilla. I smell the Lily. I smell a bit of tuberose. I smell the ylang ylang. For me, no fruits. I don't get any fruits, um, mm, you know, but it's, it's, maybe it's in there just supporting it, just kind of keep it light so it's not like too thick and heavy for hot weather. So I think that might be a thing with that one. But beautiful fragrance, that's definitely one to try. Um, beautiful by the beach or on, um, by a pool or something of the sort where you just want to smell rich, have some like a uh, glimmer on your skin and you just want to look real pretty and smell nice, you know? Ooh, yeah. I, think I like that. the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then next we have Nerolia Bianca. Uh, we have the same design on the uh, bottle and the cap. So we'll give that one a sniff and then Chance will read up the notes for us. Hmm. Don't mind if I do, ladies and gentlemen. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. There you go. You read up the notes for us. Okay. So for this fragrance, um, we have Neroli, we have Bitter Orange, and we have Orange Blossom. And then we also have Pettigrain, Orange Leaf, and uh, just Orange. And uh, for this one, what I get mainly is the, the orange. Like when she initially sprayed it, I got, you ever, you guys ever been to like an orange plantation or someplace or like an orange factory? Or if you just, uh, if you're a bartender or something like that, you initially peel an orange, you've got that mist that kind of goes up in your face. That's what it, it smelled like to me. Like it was really, really strong when, when, when she first Right, sprayed. like that little mist, like when you peel an orange and you kind of can see it spread out a bit and it almost gets into your eyes and it burns yeah, a bit. Yeah, but obviously yeah. this is, you know, you get that kind of scent without um, the, the burning, of course, <laughs> which is nice. Let me see, kind of give a sniff and remember what it smells like. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting a lot of neroli, and then uh, again, the the, uh, the orange blossom, and then just the orange itself, man. It's, it's really, really powerful. I love this smell. 
this is something that I personally would wear uh, to to the, the gym. Um, and, and without it being like overpowering or offensive to somebody else, you know, I can still smell fresh. I can not give myself a headache as I'm working out, and I can. I, it's, it's a multi-purpose uh, fragrance, I would say. I agree. That'd be a beautiful fragrance to wear during a workout because it's like clean. It's not going to distract you, and it, it's just like sharp, and it keeps your mind clear. You know. Absolutely. <laughs> I man. love this one. Um, I think it's definitely unisex. I could see a man wearing it where it would smell. Um, I don't want to use the word masculine. It's unisex, but uh, it would smell like you wouldn't smell it and think, oh, yeah, that's for a girl he's wearing. It would smell clean and sharp. And I also could see a woman wearing it. I've worn this one actually last weekend um, when I was out on a hot walk. And it was a hot day. And <laughs> it was just refreshing. And it stayed nice. Um, it just stayed clean and nice the whole time we wore it. So it was a great fragrance for a hot day. So, yeah. And then Rolia Bianca, everybody, give it a try if you want to have a clean fragrance to wear during the hot weather. All right. I second that. <laughs> and then we have Flora Rosa here. That's the next Aqua Allegoria Girl Long. Let's see. Yeah, Let's give that one a sniff. Give this a little bit of a sniff, sniff. Mmm. You know I what like that reminds one. me of? Yeah, you know what mm. that reminds me of. <laughs> okay. So this personally, to me, um, you guys ever had like the um, the tropical berry Mike and Ike's? Uh, it, 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 so imagine taking a handful of those and just like chewing on them and just like having it just waft into the air, into your nose. That, that's what it's kind of remind me of. It's very, very tropical. Lots of berries I'm getting from this fragrance. Yeah. So it smells like kind of candy like to you. Yes. Not as, uh, not as sweet. I won't uh, say it's uh, that sweet, but I am getting the, the hints of, um, what are in the notes. So for the top notes, we, uh, have, uh, red berries. Uh, middle notes, there's rose and iris, and for the base notes, we have musk. I yes, exactly. Um, with this one here, you definitely get a lot of the red berries. Yeah. You get the rose. I would say it's a rose and red berries. Um, very refreshing, very feminine, um, and very bright smelling. You know, very juicy smelling. Um, it, it has some iris in there. You don't get a very powdery note from this. You don't get like the sense of. Um, a cosmetic sense of this iris in there and the rose um i would say it's just a very bright clean fruity smell um i love this it's very feminine it smells really really good <laughs> yeah like fellas again it's the, the fruits again you, you if you smelled that you would you would recognize that smell uh, maybe it smells a little bit different to you but to me i get the the tropical berry mike and ice and it smells delicious it smells really really uh, feminine she said yeah um i would say perfect for a dress uh, a dress occasion in the summertime i love that it's beautiful mm. all right and then next we have t azura i love like the blue color of the, of the juice it's so uh pretty and refreshing looking yeah it looks, yeah it looks almost like you could like drink it or something like that t azura and even with the name it sounds like something you could drink mm. <laughs> let's see let's have a look at the notes and i happen to be wearing a shirt for the occasion you know see i did that on purpose <laughs> Okay, so for the top notes, we have lemon, bergamot, yuzi, and grapefruit. The middle notes, there's green tea, chamomile, and jasmine. And for the base notes, we have cologne, vanilla, and musk. Hmm. So with Tia Zura, I get a lot of the lemon. At first, it's, you almost smell a very lemony, sweet, iced tea smell. Mm. That's what I get at first. At the initial, and it's not in the sense of it's edible, like you would smell like something that um, you should eat rather than wear. It's a perfumey iced tea. Um, and the iced tea that you get is not like a black tea. It's the green tea and the chamomile tea. So it's like those beautiful floral, light uh, smelling teas. Uh, I, I love tea. I, I drink it all the time. So I love to like, kind of sniff the cup before you take a sip. And it reminds you of that. But you smell the lemon in there. And then at the very uh, dry down of the fragrance, you get like just pure vanilla and lemon. And yeah. it smells really beautiful. It's just really like, I could see wearing out at night or wearing at bedtime. It'll be a very comforting smell uh, to wear so or, or scent to wear. Um, so, yeah, Tia Zora is a beautiful fragrance. Um, and, you know, and another thing I'll say too before... We get to our last fragrance. These fragrances last a really long time on me. Now, I understand that for most people, these fragrances are fleeting. I would say definitely give it a try. Um, for me, they last a pretty long time. You know, kind of like um, put on an unscented lotion, 
Make sure your skin is really well moisturized and just kind of spritz on your fragrance. It lasts a really long time and even on your clothes. So um, these aren't fleeting and they're definitely worth the buy in my opinion. Um, I actually was, was spraying some of these little cards and had them by my work desk and was smelling them. They're wafting for a couple of days. I kept smelling them. So they lasted on paper. They'll sure last some clothes really well. So I mean, give them a try. I know a lot of people say they don't last much long, but um, it all depends on the person. So for me, they last a pretty long time. <laughs> I would say a couple of, uh, about 24 hours, 48 hours. So, you know, give it a try and see if it works out for you. Mm, all right. It. I love the sound of that, man. Love it. So our last Aqua Allegoria, last but not least, Rosa mm. Pop. Mm. Beautiful pink liquid. I love pink. Pink, pink, pink. pink. Pretty and pink. Yeah, pink and gold. <laughs> <laughs> love Rosa Pop. And what I love about it the most is the cosmetic scent. So what I mean by cosmetic scent, it's a chance going to read off the notes for us. I'll kind of explain what you kind of get with a cosmetic scent. Okay, so for the top notes, we're going to have red berries and lemon, which I got a powerful hint of each. Uh, the middle notes, we got violet, rose, and peony. And then for the base notes, we have woody notes. So what'd you get from that, sweetie? I get pure violet. I get violet, I get the rose, I get the berries, and the lemon kind of supports it. it the lemon being added in, it reminds me a bit of a dessert. Almost like you get the sweetness from the violet and the rose. And then the lemon just kind of gives that bit of brightness and kind of just like the little tartness that kind of lifts you up so it's not too like dry and powdery. It just kind of is a, um, just a way to pick you up and just feel fresh, but you're still wearing this really beautiful cosmetic scent. Now, at yeah, least you have a, a sniff of that. So when I say cosmetic scent, most cosmetics historically, um, at least back in the day, they were scented with the orris butter or um, the iris root, um, which is kind of that classic lipsticky scent you get when you smell cosmetics or, or particularly lipstick, you know, that waxy kind of smell. And this fragrance kind of projects that a bit. You kind of can get like you're almost like a compact or a lipstick, but the brightness from the lemon and the berries kind of make it wearable for hotter weather where you're not feeling like you're just drowning in, in a waxy, thick, powdery mm -hmm. smell. Mm -hmm. So I say that's a really nice, um, Rosa Pop is a really nice cosmetic scent. If you want something lighter for warmer weather, uh, beautiful scent. I really enjoy this. Um, I have some come out of, a lot of come out of cosmetic scents in my collection, and this is the lightest I have, and I really enjoy this in the hot weather. So give Rosa Pop a try. That's a really good one there. Yeah, it can't go wrong with those uh, red berries and lemons. Uh, that's that's uh, that's the the overpowering scent that I got when I initially smelled it. Uh, I got a little bit uh, more of a, a a violet smell a bit later, but uh, originally I got the lemons and the, the red berries. So yes, definitely. Oh well, thank you so much for coming back to Heaven Scent Boyfriend. We love having you back here and we appreciate everyone who's left comments so far and subscribed. Uh, we really enjoy you and we hope you continue to kind of uh, grow with us and we continue to talk about fragrances, things we love, right? We're fragrance people. <laughs> Absolutely, man. You cannot leave the house without smelling fresh and uh, feeling like how we smell. So. I can't. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm fully dressed up fragrance on. Like it's a part of my life. So I'm, I'm, I'm a fragrance freak and I'm going to keep sharing it with you all. Yes, yes. <laughs> So, I love them. <laughs> so until next time, uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>